वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ आवर न्यू सब्जेक्ट द नेम ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इज द मटेरियल्स टेक्नोलॉजी और द मटेरियल साइंस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट एज वेल एज द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट दैट इज द क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड इम्परफेक्शन so dear students the name name of the subject is what i can write the material science or materials technology so definitely the very good number of marks we are getting in the competitive exams like in gate or in ese so very basic very important subject for the mechanical production or metallurgical uh, students as far as the the competitive exams are concerned so in this subject as far as our mechanical engineering is concerned so which are the topic are there for the gate point of view okay so here the subject starts with the first topic here is the crystal structure or the structure of materials crystal structure and imperfection and imperfection very basic topic of the subject that is the crystal structures that we are going to see uh, definitely we are going to see the introduction for this first topic also in the same video after seeing this first topic that is the crystal structures we are going to see the second very important topic that is the material properties and testing material properties and testing so whichever the properties we are going to learn at the same time we are going to see how this property can be measured suppose i am saying the ductility malleability hardability okay so what are the process suppose i am saying the toughness so how toughness is measured so i am saying the hardness so what is hardness and how this hardness is measured so like that the testing is also i am going to cover in this topic materials properties then the third topic we are going to learn very important topic that is the phase diagram phase diagram or the equilibrium diagrams or the constitutional diagrams the phase diagrams so the constitution of the alloys definitely we are going to learn in details about the various phase diagrams our focus will be on the binary phase diagram binary isomorphism then uh, eutectic phase diagrams so like that we are going to see the various phase diagrams in the topic very important you can expect the two mark uh, gate questions on this topics uh, phase diagram particularly they are asking on the phase fraction calculation how to calculate the particular phase in the given alloy okay so definitely we are going to uh, use the lever arm principle for the calculation of the phase fraction and we will learn how to calculate that we will interpret the various phase diagrams okay so very important phase diagram that is the equilibrium diagrams definitely you can expect the two mark question on this topic then the fourth topic that we are going to learn is the heat treatment okay so heat treatment heat treatment very very important topic heat treatment so we are going to learn various kinds of the heat treatment process like annealing normalizing tempering okay then hardening so then we are having the surface uh, treatment processes like that various heat treatment processes we are going to learn in this topic heat treatment processes 
okay and the fifth topic that we are going to learn is the powder metallurgy powder metallurgy what are the different uh, methods to produce the powders then how the blending of this powder uh, is done then compaction is there okay so various powder uh, making processes then actually powder making processes its advantages applications and limitations uh, definitely we are going to discuss in this topic powder metallurgy so these are the four five chapters that we are going to see in this subject materials technology or the material science okay now uh, with this i will start the uh, first topic the introduction of the first topic we are going to see here so the name of the topic is what the crystal structures and the imperfection so in this topic very basic topic okay so here we are going to see the basic crystal structure is what what is the space lattice what is the unit cell okay after seeing that we are going to definitely see most of the metal is possessing the cubic structure okay because there are seven crystal structures that we are having and there are 14 arrangement of the arrays for the uh, atomic arrangement or the atomic positions are available which is given by the brevis so these these are known as the brevis lattice so definitely we are going to see that crystal structure brevis lattice then what are the effective number of atoms in a given cell or the average number of atoms we are going to calculate for especially we are going to discuss in details about the cubic structure in cubic structure we are having simple cubic structure face centered cubic structure body centered cubic structure these are about the cubic structure and one hexagonal close pack hcp structure that we are going to learn okay so we are going to learn what are the effective number of atoms or average number of atoms of given cell of that crystal then after that we are going to see the coordination number the coordination number so average number of atoms first of all we are going to discuss the various crystal structures then brevis lattices lattices okay the crystal structure what actually it is giving us crystal structure is nothing but the the atomic arrangements in the solid we know very well then we are going to have the average number of atoms in a unit cell then definitely we are talk about the coordination number for a given atom how many number of atoms are touching that atom or the atom in and under consideration so nearest numbers are nothing but the coordination numbers that we are going to see for uh, simple cubic then we are going to see for our hcp bcc also okay in that topic we are going to see what are the packing uh, methods what is a a a a packing what is a b a b a b packing and what is a b c a b c a b c packing so based on that packing we are going to determine the coordination number for that structure okay then we are going to see after uh, having this average number of atoms uh, we can able to calculate the packing factor or fraction atomic packing fraction or factor so based on that you can able to calculate the efficiency of packing how the atoms are packed whether it is closely packed or not so as example the hcp the name of hcp is hexagonal close pack structure okay so because packing is close around 74 percent you can get the packing there remaining 26 percent are voids are there but amongst the cubic 
uh, we are having the HCP is very close structure that is name hexagonal close pack structure so we can get this packing efficiency multiplying by 100 to the atomic uh, fraction we will get the packing efficiency and 100 minus whatever the packing efficiency then it will be left with the percentage of voids or empty space in the crystal structure okay then definitely we are going to see the uh, orientation of the planes okay that is crystallography little bit we are going to uh, learn here we are going to see the miller indices miller indices how the various planes can be represented symbolically that was given by the british crystallographer the w h miller in 1839 so we are going to see the various planes plane families and the miller indices for that planes then of course in that we are going to see the planar density planar density what is planar density and we are going to calculate or we are going to understand this planar density is for the cubic uh, structure that is for simple cubic for body centered cubic for face central cubic we are going to determine this planar density then we can also calculate the linear density so linear density also we are going to calculate this is represented by rho p this can be represented by rho l okay so we are going to see this then the next thing that we are going to see is very important that is the imperfection part the imperfections in the crystal okay or the crystals imperfection we are having the lattice vibration is there we are having zero dimensional defects that are the point defects one dimensional defects these are the line defects two dimensional defects which are known as the planar or surface de defect and last but not least we are having the volume defect so these are the various uh, defects we are going to understand okay in that we are getting these dislocations the screw dislocation is there edge dislocation is there like these are the various defects the imperfection in the crystals imperfections in the crystal we are going to understand in this first topic that is the crystal structures and imperfection many times you can expect the one or two mark question uh, definitely on this topic very simple topic and we are going to see whatever the points i have mentioned here these points we are going to see in the details okay thank you